all I want to do is put it at the chamfer and then break that really sharp edge. Just send that drill it. Nice and gently. Remember that the centre drill to me and ambition in life is to snap off in a hole. I want to snap off that bastards to get out. Five mil drill in each, in each new short one. The hole in here needs to be 16.5, which is the tap and drill size for 18 by 1.5. Just touch it off then. Right, what hole in there is just in a 16 mil, and we need 16.5. Just touch it off then. Sixteen point five. What I'll do, I'll bore the end of this out at eighteen mil just for a short distance. Then I know when I come to screw cut it, once my screw cutting tool starts to touch the eighteen mil bore, then I'm down to full depth. So that's a mil and a half to come out of there, which is sixty thou. So that's a thirty thou cut. You can see where the cross slide. It's ten. I need thirty. Metric. So that's 18, 18 mil there. So once my scroll cutting tool touches that, I know I'm down to, down to full depth. Right, I've got a, a 60 degree scroll cutting tool there, which is set on centre height. 
this is a fairly fine thread so I'm just going to cut it by going straight out I'm not going to bother angling the angling the compound slide like I would for a coat thread it's just quite a short thread as well uh, with it being metric I've had to put a compound gear on the lathe because the lathe is imperial which means I won't be using the, the thread dial indicator I'll just reverse the lathe so what I'm going to do now is make sure that the tool is going to be cutting a nice square thread so use one of these some people call it a fish tail because it's shaped like a fish's tail I suppose anyway it's got a, it's got a V in there, 60 degree V which fits the tool and you hold that square against the the job and then the tool goes into there then you know you're going to be cutting you know the tool is going to be at the correct angle of the job right, hopefully you can see that, that the tool is fitting nicely in the, the angle and both sides of the fish tail are touching the touching the job that means that the tool is set at the correct angle to cut the thread right so I've got the leather back gear I've got the gearbox set up and the gear chain set up to cut the 1.5 metric thread. We've got our tool in on centre height into the correct angle of the job. I've set it up so it's just touching. We'll zero our compound slide. Plus 10 thou cut. And we'll wind it away from the job. Start the lathe up. And here's the feed nut. As you can see, it's moving towards the chuck. You don't do it right up against the chuck in case you've got something wrong and it goes right into the chuck. Right, once we start putting threads, I wouldn't be just engaging the lead screw. There's plenty of clearance behind the job in the back of the chuck for the tool to go right through. So we'll put a little bit of move on. Right, and here's our feed nuts and it's starting to go into the job you see the tool come out the back of the job turn it in half a turn Reverse the lathe and pull back out again. When you're screw cutting, you've only got to think about is what you're doing. I suppose we're doing all day every day, but I'm not. This is it. I've got to concentrate all the time on what I'm doing. It's very easy to make a mistake and write the job off. Right, so I'll back out. Back to zero and put a cut on. This is where I really use a cigarette. Right, we've got our thread cut and it's just it's just starting to touch the 18 mil 18 mil bore so we know what out the full depth I'm just going to put a counter sink and break that edge one thing you must do as soon as you've finished screw cutting disengage your feed screw Make sure your half nuts are disengaged as well. I'll try and get a bit better finish on that face.
Şu amca o baranlar. That's all the machining on that side finished now. It'll be screwed onto there with that screw cut, mounted that way in the lathe, and that side there will be faced and machined to fit into the bone head. Decent finish on there. I've chamfered that. That edge is chamfered as well. I'll take it out. Nice sharp thread all the way through. Quite pleased with that. Okay, so change the chuck round, put the jaws in, screw cut the mandrel, and then we'll try and get it together.